Why do you remember that? Because if you extended your fingers, it would be the shape of a pyramid. It ends just about the middle of your nose, right underneath your eyes. You hold it close to your body. Not out here, or out like this. Very close. See? You throw that right, kind of twist the left shoulder as you bring the waist. It's kind of a full body motion. That's why you get in a full body workout. Right now, we're just using it to stretch and get the track down, the track that you're gonna be throwing power driving punches later on when you build and condition these muscles. Don't try it too soon, okay? I've knocked my shoulders out many times jumping on it too soon. It takes weeks to get into good shape for peak performance on a heavy bag or speed bag. Right now we're just training and learning all the tools that you can use in boxer size, okay? Now move back and forth. See that little hop? Always maintaining this. One thing about this lateral move, the reason why that's there is because say you're along the ropes, the corner's there. Well, you gotta slide over here, slide around over here, fake them out, punch them off, and get back up and center ring again. You wouldn't spin around like that, but you had to. This is how you learn to coordinate that. First, learn this side motion. Keep doing that real easy. Go at your own pace. See that? Practice holding your guard up. Might even try throwing a jab on the, when you feel the bounce is ready. That's what you're looking for. Where is that set? Where can you lock and pop? Pop, 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 pop. See? Pop, 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 pop. Later you'll be learning fakes. It's like going this way. Act like you're going to throw a jab, throw a right. Back and forth. Let's do it easy. Now, back and forth, left to right. Got it? I say you wouldn't do this in the rain. It'd sure be nice to be able to know how to turn like this when you hit. And it's a good exercise. Works both sides of the body. Back and forth. Okay. Stop about here. Work on that side to side. Do some stretches. You get the toes, spread your legs about shoulder width. Stretch. Touch that. Up. Stretch. Up. Turn the hips. Okay. Center. Stretch these biceps and the rotary cuff. Kind of hold it. Arm stiff. Pull with the other arm gently. Stretch it slowly and hold. All right. Other side. Very good. One more thing. Grab your elbow. Pull it straight back. Gently. Ah. Now stretch them. All right. Got it? Now you've seen this on all those uh, aerobic things. Do whatever you've learned or get a good book on stretching, yoga, anything. Supplement this with walking. The thing of it is, boxer size is the next level from just plain aerobics. Now you're going to use that conditioning to build a strong, confident mind. Part of confidence comes from knowing you can defend yourself if you have to. You can go on with this much faster than any other martial arts class after you've gotten the boxer size. You go into a martial arts studio, boxer size condition, you're going to save a lot of money and time, and your instructor's going to be really impressed and worked extra hard with you because he'll know you're serious. But the important thing is, basics now. you got 10 hard rounds ahead of your fight days coming up. This is just a warm up. Don't go to the fights until you've done your practice.
Okay, back and forth again. I call this the boxer size ball. Meaning, if I was on a big round ball, out in the middle of a lake somewhere, and I'm on top of it, this is what I'd be doing to stay in the center of it. A little on either side, back and forth. Now double up, jab, double back, jab, jab, right cross, get on your bike. This is it, practice this circle. There'll be rounds where you'll be doing a lot of this later as you're throwing punches. Important thing is, you can't get past the warm-ups. You're not ready to, you're not ready to get to uh, the fight. The fight's against you, yourself. You gonna make it? Okay. Boy, you're burning up a lot of butter right now. And you're not really straining yourself. This light aerobic movement, it's got your heart pumping a lot more blood and oxygen. Keep doing like I do. If you can't carry on a conversation, like I'm getting close to, it's time to uh, take a rest. But keep moving. Okay? See you in the next round. We're going to do some combination punching. Make no mistake about it, boxer size is a real challenge. For those beginners, you got to take a break. Just keep going only if your current conditioning level allows you, okay? And uh, the rounds progress and they keep getting a little bit longer and a little bit faster as we go. Master the fundamentals because without the fundamentals, uh, you won't be able to take advantage of the advanced moves later. Okay.